So the other day, a friend of mine asked me if he should get an iPad Pro. Hey, should I get an iPad Pro? What do you plan on using it for? Um, playing video games. And? Um, writing or watching YouTube. And? Um, programming. Programming? No. So that's the answer. So there are tools out there that help you do some of the development work, but they are reliant on a third party machine. So you'll have to do things like connect through SSH or SFTP or code somewhere. You can't really compile an application here or run any virtual machines directly on here. Apple hasn't allowed that and they'll probably never allow that. And, and that's one of the reasons why you can't really use this. I've read on the forums that people try to use it and they get around it by doing things like remote desktop, VNC, shell terminals, but without an internet connection, you're pretty much SOL and it's just not gonna work. What I found with this is that it's really difficult to use the iPad Pro as a software developing machine. Now that is the current state. There are rumors that Apple may bring Xcode into the fray, but what that means is that it's probably going to be targeted at developing Apple applications. So iOS, iPad, maybe Mac OS, but you're not gonna be able to most likely develop a web application, spin up Docker containers, JVMs, and run those types of applications. That led him to ask me, why do you have an iPad Pro if you can't really use it for software developing? And the first answer I gave him was mine, you got game development. The answer to that is, that one of the things that I plan on doing is making a game. And one of the aspects of making the game is all the game art on it. While I'm not an artist per se yet, the iPad Pro does have a pencil and it allows me to do things like sketch pixel art, draw notes, just do game concept designs and the the goal is to have my art be in the game or try to if i suck too much we'll end up hiring an artist anyways but that's the aspiration it's to have my art in the game game development itself or just developing in general i find it next to useless for that like i said you can do things like tack on vnc remote desktop SFTP or code in SSHM, but it's really just a terminal onto an actual machine that you do work on. It works in a pinch if you have internet connection and you really want it to work on a small screen. This is a 10 inch, but it's not ideal. So from a developer's perspective, it definitely isn't a pro device. Having said that, it's a lovely machine. It's great as a tablet. The form factor fits so well in one hand. The pen charges right on there. I don't have to worry about an another set of batteries. The battery itself lasts such a long time for the sporadic use that I use it as. I can pick it up, read a couple of chapters, watch a couple of YouTube videos. I even use it to take notes in notability throughout the day and the battery just turns. Um, the battery just will keep on trucking. You're paying extra for the pro tag, the higher refresh rate, the less bezels around the display. So to my friend who asked me if he should buy an iPad pro as a software developer for programming, my answer to that is no, it's quite stupid to do something like that. It's just a glorified iPad that looks nicer and has a higher refresh rate. But, eh, you got money, you work hard, go for it, splurge. It depends on what you want. But 
software developing, nah. <laughs>